Okay. Take two. All right. So I already shot about 10 minutes of this. And it was quite rambly. So I'm going to try to not ramble. This here is a video where I'm coming to you about Hell Ripper. So for those of you who know, watch, listen to my babbling on, see if you like what I have to say. If you don't, cool. We can talk, talk about it in the comments. Most likely you're not going to have much bad to say. You may correct me on a couple of things, but that's okay. For those of you who don't know, Hell Ripper <coughs> is a one-man blackened speed thrash band from Aberdeen, Scotland. I really hope I got that right. This, he, basically, he started this project in 2014. From this point here on, until I say my thoughts, everything I got from Wikipedia, please don't fucking shoot me if I'm wrong. Influences are, from the black metal side of things, Dark Throne and Venom. And the thrash side of things, Metallica, Megadeth, Sabbath, or Sabbat. Um... And, of course, on the punkier side of things, anti-Simex or Cymex, I presume Simex, maybe, uh, and Motorhead. Motorhead is very prevalent throughout this, um, throughout his uh, discography, which is Complete and Total Fucking Mayhem is the debut record, Coagulating Darkness is the sophomore record, third record being The Affair of Poison, and the newest record comes out February 17th, which is Warlocks, Grim, and Withered Hags. A lot of the, a lot, and according to, still according to Wikipedia, a lot of the lyrical things tend to sit with Satan, the occult, witchcraft, yada, yada, yada. And, and, and even one song called Annalise, or Anna, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Annalise, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. From Affair of the Poisons is about the possession of Annalise, uh, Michelle. Now, when I say the motorhead thing, and this is go from this point on is, is pretty much my thoughts on on James um, and Hell Ripper. A song like uh, from the Affair of Poisons called "Blood Orgy of the She Devils," which absolutely fucking great title because that's funny as balls. It's very much a Motorhead. It's it's like if Motorhead was a black metal band. Um, but here's the thing, though, if you've watched my channel. Going forward, like I may be nicer about black metal bands, but it's really hard. Um, I, if you've watched this for more than five minutes, you know I'm not a fan. Hell Ripper is definitely a black and speed thrash band. There's no doubt about it. There's some punk elements in there too, with some of the more like the the black and roll. Um, when I listen to an album like Complete and Total Fucking Mayhem, I hear a lot of Sodom and Creator on. The newest record that's coming out, and on the on the first single, which I believe is called the Nuck the Nuckalevy. Don't I probably butchered that, but I do hear a lot of like in in some of the in some of the leads, like a fair amount of Iron Maiden sensibilities. Um, definitely the Metallica Megadeth thing is there, but I'm hearing a lot more Dark Throne and Venom than I really do sort of anything else. You guys all know that I'm not one of these dudes that goes and listens to black metal. But if I was going to start listening to black metal more, it's mostly going to be the bads that do the black and speed thrash thing. Like Hell Ripper. Um, James's ability to write all these songs and play every fucking instrument, it's pretty insane. Because there's not, very, I mean, there are, there are, you know, there are dual bands that do this kind of thing, you know, be it, you know, a guitar and drums and or bass and drums, because there's a lot of doom bands that do that. But there's a thing about James that really fucking made me go, Jesus Christ, this guy's a mutant. Because he's literally playing every single fucking instrument. And when you listen to this, it's it sounds like that he's especially especially the first two records. If you listen to those, you're thinking, Jesus, it's almost it almost sounds like this guy's been around since the fucking eighties or nineties. 
but he's only been doing this since 2014. He's almost, it's almost been a decade he's been doing this. As if, as of next year, it'll be a decade. Like, uh, hello. Um, and the thing is, it's like, what he does with the Black and Speed trash, it's so fucking good, it's hard to ignore. Because there's enough of the early thrash bands and the early black metal bands, because as I've said, there are Mayhem, Dark Throne, Venom. They're about the only bands I'm probably going to listen to if there's black metal. Obviously, we're going to add Hell Ripper as a fourth. Because, man, there's a lot of black metal out there that I'm just like, oh, God, this this really hurts. Because I'm sort of a stickler for for production, and and some people will say, well, why? Because some production is just so fucking bad that I can't listen to it. Take the two first two Cannibal Corpse records. Fucking horrendous. Well, Eating Back to Life isn't horrible, but Butchered at Birth is absolute fucking terrible. And again, because I'm a, such a stickler for production and good, solid production... I really kind of get the thing where I'm like, oh, man, I can't listen to this. And the vocals too, like some of the, some black metal bands are just so fucking high pitch and screechy. It's just like, like, can you change it up a little bit? Like, give me a little flavor. Like even give me a grunt and a growl once in a blue moon. But when I listen to Hell Ripper and when I listen to James, it's different. I, I get that high pitch. I get that. But I also hear a lot of early creator. I also listen, I also hear a tinge of Sodom. I hear enough of that early thrash vocal and that early black metal vocal to the point where I'm not like, oh, this is fucking unbearable. Because it is bearable. I can handle it. Because... You know, it's mostly like, bah, yeah, bah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. stop. I can't do that in most cases. But with James, it's almost like he's fucking digging up these, these fucking demons out of his gut. And he's just letting it out. And it sounds way better than any other black metal band out there. Except the, you know, the fucking mayhem, the Dark Thrones and the Venom. I mean, Venom, again, people will be like, well, that's just a fucking rock band. Not in, the, or not in the early days they weren't. They were proto-black metal. <coughs> so, basically at the end of the day, to make it so that I'm not ranting like a complete moron, or not ranting, rambling like a complete moron, if someone asked me, take four bands or five bands that you would listen to for black metal, Mayhem, Dark Throne, Venom, Hell Ripper and maybe Dissection because I haven't listened to them yet, but I know people are like, "Oh, you gotta check out Dissection, man! They're really good." You gotta remember when you're not a black metal fan and you have like five bands that you would give to somebody. There's reasons for it. <clears throat> they have mostly because Necro Necro Butcher is kind of cool. Some of their stuff is kind of bad, but hey, they're 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 on the more on the lower lower aspect of things. I mean, I would put Hell Ripper in my top three. And again, from someone who's not a big black metal fan, I mean, I would probably go like fucking, I would probably go Dark Throne, Hell Ripper, and then fucking Venom for t my top three bands. Can I pick an, what is, and, and like if someone said to me, hey, can you take one of Hell Ripper's records and give it to someone and go, listen to this? Unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, um, I'm going with all four, and even the new one that hasn't come out yet. If this was if this was February 17th and after, I would definitely add that to. I would definitely add Warlocks, Grim, and Withered Hags to it because if anything from that first single is to be true going forward in that uh, on that record, I don't have anything to bitch about. Um, that's gonna sound because the production sounds really, really, really fucking good. Complete total fucking mayhem, coagulating darkness, the affair of poison, and warlock screaming withered hags. Four albums in. I mean, the guys in the, the rest of the guys in the VC, especially over in England, uh, over in the UK, 
um, the UK boys, some of the German guys, um, the Norwegians. And frankly, there's a couple people over on this side of things where they're, they are all about James and what he's doing uh, with Hell Ripper. Um, he has played live a few times, I guess. Uh, he has a, a live band, but he does all of this himself. He kind of reminds me of Jeff Waters from Annihilator doing his own thing and saying, fuck it, I'm just going to do whatever I want. I'm just going to write the shit and have a touring band. Um, yeah, man. Um, I'm down with this Black and Speed Thrash thing. I'm down with Hell Ripper. Um, I think he has a very bright future if he keeps this shit up. I don't I don't know how much longer he plans on I presume he's gonna probably do it until he can't no more. Um Yeah man, this guy's fantastic. Just what he does from his ability, his riffing, his leads, his vocals, everything on this is just top tier fucking uh black and speed thrash. And there's uh, and again there's even some punk in there and there's a there's black and roll as well. What he does, if you have not listened to them, or if you've not listened to him, I suggest you do, because this guy really has the fucking goods. He's got all the goods. And I don't, th I honestly, I don't think he's got a bad track out there. Someone out there might disagree, but honestly, I don't think he has a bad track. And again, not a black metal guy, and I'll say that till I'm blue in the fucking face. Or black in the face, I guess, if you want to go in this, you know, for the puns. It's really good. It's really, really, it's really fucking good. Do yourself a big favor and listen to this guy because he's got all the talent in the fucking world.